The seed phrases used on your crypto wallets are not secure at all. Maybe just not as secure as you might have always thought. At least this is a statement which Tangem is setting. And this is why Tangem is not using the seed phrase technology BIP39. So in this video, we are going to check what is it all about? Is the seed phrase really not secure or why is Tangem stating that? So if this is something which is really interesting for you, then definitely stick till the end of this video. And if you're a fan for all about crypto, then definitely also leave me a like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any important updates, how to secure your cryptos, how you can make more money with cryptos and also comparing a lot of crypto wallets on this channel. So before we start, let's have a quick look on who even is stating that the seed phrase is not secure. And this is the Tangem company from Switzerland who are producing those kind of multi-chain cold wallets uh, without the BIP39 seed phrase technology. Tangem itself is on the market since 2017. Initially, they did a lot of hardware and software solutions for other company before they decided to, to bring their own brand products. However, if you dig really deep into the BIP39 technology on the internet, I have discovered that there are a couple of forums where they are stating that this is really not secure. It's really, really tech heavy. So I don't want to dig too deep into this, but just on the surface. So you will also understand some of these issues involved. So the BIP39 seed phrase technology will create your seed phrase or the memoric code, which is just a set of words, which is mostly 12 or 24 words long. This seed phrase technology becomes really relevant in case you want to migrate your assets, your crypto assets from one wallet to the another wallet. Let's say you still have a ledger, but you want to switch to and any other device such as Safepal, Bitbox, Alipal or whatever. So it's really as simple when you set up your new wallet, just enter your old memoric phrase and then you still have the assets on your ledger and also on your new wallet. And these words for the seed phrase, they are randomly generated, but when you dig deeper into it, not as random as we might have thought and also the seed phrase words, there is not an endless or unlimited words we can use, but there is only a total of 2048 words. And we actually can even find these words this is on GitHub. I will put you the link down below in case you're interested in. So you will find here all the words list attached. Tangem, however, is one of the very, very few cold wallet providers who are not using these seed phrase technology BIP39 because they think that this is not secure at all. So which issues comes with the seed phrase? When we are creating any wallet, then of course we won't be able to remember those words by heart or the entire phrase by heart in our mind. So of course we need to write it down some somewhere and some people they just take a photo or a screenshot with their phone or with their laptop whatever it is and think okay I'm, I just don't have a pen with me right now and I can store it later and you should definitely not do this because it's so easy sometimes to just hack and at some point you can just lose all your assets uh, when you don't even think about it so whenever you are creating a seed phrase don't take a screenshot don't take a picture don't save it anywhere digitally but physically and I know most of the people they still write it down on a simple piece of paper and sometimes even just a one piece of paper so what happens over the time you might not be able to read the seed phrase anymore properly uh, we have some uh, issues with water with fire and then all your assets will be gone or stored in the blockchain of course but you won't be able to access it so this is something which is really bad, where we at least have uh, security when it comes to fire and water and stuff. If someone is finding your seed phrase, they can still make a picture of it or memorize it or whatever. And you won't even know that they already have access to your funds. 
And maybe at a certain point, when you have a good amount of cryptos on your wallet, they will just use your seed phrase and withdraw everything. This would be such a bummer. So when you write down your seed phrase or something like this, you will never, never know how many people already have your seed phrase. Even you got your cold wallet. We had this issue with Tangam Recovery, even though they are stating now that they will not release this feature. And even if you lose your card, they won't be able to access your funds because Tangem is having like the two key technologies. So before doing any transaction, they not only need the card or one of the backup cards, but it also needs your access code or your fingerprint in order to confirm this transaction. So if you don't have any card, and if you're interested in getting the Tangam wallet now, then feel free to use the link down below in the comments. It will give you 10% discount on your Tangam wallet. Or you can simply use the discount code BONUS during the checkout on Tangam. And if you want to know more about Tangam and the security or how Tangam actually works, then check out my other videos. I'll link it to you here. Ledger said in their statement on Twitter that we always have been trusting Ledger they are not revealing the seed phrase, but it was always technically possible. And after my research, I found that this is not only for Ledger the case, but also for other wallets. And I also know that there are a couple of people who are always afraid about any firmware updates because firmware updates are most crucial and you never know what kind of software is here on this chip. Even other people would be able to put some malware software on your chip and reveal the seed phrase if they want to. So of course they would need physical access to your cold wallet, but this is something which is possible and which also have been happened already in the past couple of times. And this is also a reason why everyone is telling you when you are buying a new crypto cold wallet, only buy it from the ledger source, from the company itself, and only use it in case it is still fully sealed because otherwise there might already be some other people on your wallet um, uploaded a malware software. And also as said, these 12 or 24 words, they are randomly generated, but as, not as randomly as we always thought. So let's have a look how many different options we would have from these 2048 words, which could be. So let me quickly get this calculator. We have 2048 words and then uh, we have, let's say a 12 a word seed phrase. So I can't even count this number or I'll tell you what this number is all about, but it's just a really, really huge sum. So no one would be able to guess your seed phrase, of course, but, and this is something which also happened in the past. So a couple of years ago, there was a challenge to crack a seed phrase. And if they crack it, then they would get a reward from one Bitcoin. All they had was seven or eight words from the seed phrase. And the other words need to be like figured out. And then there was a guy, John Cantrell, and, and he created a program to figure out this seed phrase. And this program only took 30 hours to solve this. So... After 30 hours of when the software has been running, he got one Bitcoin as a reward. So even as we have seen on the calculator, there is such a huge number of possibilities. As soon as you have maybe a couple of words, it is not too difficult for people who are into this um, IT to write programs and to figure out your seed phrase. So if you have someone seeing your seed phrase somewhere and just remember a couple of words, they technically would be able to crack it. And also the companies itself, like Ledger or... So here's also one article about this guy, John Control, who checked with his software over 1 trillion memoric um, seed phrases in 30 hours to win this Bitcoin. I will also link this um, article down below in the description. However, those are the reasons why Tangem is saying that the seed phrase is not secure. I would highly love in the comments to know your thoughts about it. And um, these are the reasons why Tangem said they don't want to have any seed phrase, but the seed phrase itself actually is uh, stored on the chip in this card. And only during the setup, they are creating some backups with the other two or three cards which you have in this box when you order it. So you know exactly how many backup cards you have, how many seed phrases 
are around the world from your wallet so you don't have to worry that someone is taking a picture of your card you will know that no one else will have your seed phrase not even tangan not even uh, we as the owner of the assets are seeing our seed phrase and uh, not our phone or app or whatever it is okay so the seed phrase is fully se uh, securely stored on this chip so definitely it has pro and cons i would love to know your opinion in the comments me personally i'm a big big fan of the tangum wallet for the security and simplicity but i also still have my normal cold wallets or the standard cold wallets with the bip39 such as uh, bbox and uh, elipal and one key another thing where those sleek tangum cards might become handy is when you want to cross borders or you want to import a crypto wallet so most of the customs uh, police or whatever it is they already know crypto wallets so depending on the country you are living and in case your country maybe doesn't support crypto that much this could become really handy to even buy and get one crypto cold wallet so this is definitely something you might want to consider other than that love to know your feedback and also maybe which pros and cons i might have been forgetting and um, of course if you just want to cross border you can just get your seed phrase somewhere and just add it but if you want to keep your cold wallet and you might want to cross the border you might not be able to keep your cold wallet with you but just your assets somehow but with this sd card which just looks like a bank card a credit card whatever it is um I think this would be easier to get somewhere in case your country is not that supportive about crypto. Also, I have been just recently ordering a bunch of other crypto cold wallets to check them all out. So if you're interested in this, then also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss my reviews and comparisons about the other crypto wallets. So we will find the best crypto wallets for our needs. But I also think we should not store everything on one wallet, but depending on the amount of assets to split it on two, three wallets at least.